All right, there, YouTubers. How you doing? As promised, we're back with the last series of the sorted players I've got in my collections. And it's the Alex Rodriguez section, or episode, or whatever you want to call it. It's a short section. I thought I had a much bigger stack than this, but apparently it was Albert Pujols and Mark McGuire taking up a good portion of it, so I took them out. And it left us with about... I don't know, 150, 200 cards or so for the A-Rods. But we'll bust through these real quick. And as always, see anything you like, hit the link right here. That's not a link, but, you know, go to my description and hit that link. And that'll take you to my shop, my online shop. And then you can hit the contact us button, and that'll come to me. And we'll get you fixed up with whoever you PC, if I have them. And let's get started. This is a 01 Donruss. Nice little card. Everybody likes A-Rod, unless you're a Red Sox. And there's one of his Texas cards there. That's Texas, too. But, anyway. Uh, Team Heroes. Sure's got some nice little stats on the back there. You want to pause that and have a read. If it's focused. Yep, that looks pretty good. And let's see here's a 02 or 03 leaf. What is that? 02. And 2001. Ovation. Upper deck. Got nice little raised ribs on it right there on both sides. It says A Rod's AO Best 52 homers established a single season record for homers by a shortstop. Did that no one. I love all these stats on here. 95, A-Rod appeared in 48 games with the Mariners and helps reach the playoffs. 1996, his first full season. A-Rod wins the batting title and places second in MVP ballot. This is just stats for the new guys and some of the older guys too. You might not know a lot of his early stats. In 1998, he built a 42 homers and swipes 46 bags to join the exclusive 4040 club. The nice upper deck evolution. Pretty cards. Fleer Impact. I got a bunch of these and different players, so if you like the look of that card, you know, hit me up. We'll get you a little lot put together, whatever. Let's get a lot of rash on it. We'll chuck that one in the garbage can. Let's see. The Victory Big Play. I hate this card because it's all... Open nothing on the front. Hate that. Interesting little stat on the back. You want to pause that and read it? There you go. Another Sandlot card. We had some of these in the, uh, what was before him? I don't know. I can't remember that far back. The Griffey. There you go. Yeah, the Griffey Jr. had a bunch of these Sandlot Stars cards. Or a couple of them. I don't remember. I've been doing all these team se or player series videos. Hey, oh, Tops Gallery. Still Texas there. O2 Flare Premium. Runs Leaders. Tops, top tens. And that is 133 runs. He scored in 2001. And it was a sixth straight year of 100 or more runs scored for the five-time All-Star who set the Mariners' mark with 141 in 96 and ranked second in the AL with 134 in 2000. Anytime you get a chance to read a card and learn something, especially sports-related, I love sports. All sports, except for soccer and tennis. Uh, Here we go. Absolute memorabilia, 02. Nice little card. And that was trash because I can't even read the picture on the front or the name on the front. Uh, Fleer Patchworks, nice little cards. I love these. I got a bunch of those in different players. O2 Premium, and there's a... What the heck is it? Absolute Memorabilia Playoff. Your 2001, 2000? Yeah, 2001. That's a cool card. I got a bunch of those. Oh, let's see here. Making History in the Making. 40 homers, 40 stolen bases, 98. We already went over that. That's a commemorative of that event. Preferred Power Donruss. Nice card. Got some nice little shine in it. Back before refractors were called refractors, mostly. And I think this is an 03 upper deck. Yep. Leaf Certified. 
01, 02, somewhere around there. 02. Yep. Upper deck MVP. Nice little card. And this is Yankees. Yankees Uni. And let's see here. Oh, there's a Ichiro. I don't know how that got in there. It's got some some rod on it, so we'll throw it in the trash. Uh, another Ichiro. I've got so many Ichiros in this box. Uh, we'll set them aside and put them in the Ichiro box later. This one is really hard to read. Really hard to see, rather. It's a Upper Deck Ovation Superstar Theater. It's kind of a cheesy looking card. It's got some rash on the back in that little area right there. But, there you go. I'm not going to read that. You can pause it and read it. There you go. Nice little card. I just wish it was a little brighter on the front. Looks like they took it in the dark. Here's a digital card scratch off from the 01 Upper Deck series. A little stat for you. You want to pause that and read it? I'm not going to read them because we'll be here for an hour and a half. I don't read so good. I'm a redneck. Leave me alone, people. Reading is not my strong suit. Runs leaders, we've seen that one. Gold foil, all over the place on this one, upper deck. Victory, a little black and white. Looks like a comic book. Nice little card. And he signs with the Rangers in 2001. NFL honor roll moments. Or, excuse me, honor roll dream team moments. Oh, let's see. Rookies of Stars, 2000. What is that, 2001? Yep. Flare Maximum HD. Or Flare Maximum, excuse me, not HD. I'm sorry. This has got a good bit of rash on it. We'll put it in the trash bucket over there. Memorabilia, playoff memorabilia 02. Nice cards. Got a bunch of those. Different playoffs and stuff. Another Mariners card. And there's a poo hole sneaking in the back door there. Throw that back over here in the uh, Apple poo hole stack. If I can find it. And it's right there. Cool. Alright, keep everything organized here. Try to. And the hits leaders. How many hits did he get in whatever year this is? 201. It says he boasts three seasons of 200 plus hits. He led the AL in 98 with 213. Finished second in 96 with 215. And ranked fourth in 2001. When he became the first player since 1982 to pound at least 200 hits and 50 homers in the same year. And he was number fifth, and Ichiro took the top spot with 242 in 2001. That's some numbers right there, buddy. And some numbers, numbers, numbers. Love it. And here's a Shockwave Ionics upper deck. Absolutely favorite set ever. Ever. And there's a leaf. Upper deck top 40. Does it say where he ranked in the top 40? Uh, nope, sure it doesn't. Card number 856 in the series, though, so I don't know what that tells you. That's got a lot of rash on it. We'll chuck that in the garbage. Flare Premium 02. And uh, Upper Deck Hot Prospects. As you can see, the foil condition at the bottom is not the greatest, but it's still there. And the top could use a little love. Could have been taken better care of by the previous owners, whoever they were. I don't know. I bought most of this from uh, one guy off a of Craigslist. There's a nice little ticket card. And some various 2000s tops. And that's a Flare Genuine. I love those cards. I've got a bunch of those. I'll be doing the uh, favorite set series here shortly. And we'll go digging through some collection and try to find some hits. And by hits, I mean cool cards, because this era didn't have a whole lot of autographs and uh, memorabilia cards like today. Uh, what's this? MVP? Yep. Upper Deck MVP. There's a Power Trip card from Victory. Nice little card. A little cartoony, but that's cool too. And after seven seasons in Seattle, Rodriguez signs a long-term deal with the Rangers. 12-11 of 2000. Upper deck ovation love there. MVP, upper deck. <clears throat> Slugging percentage leaders. Let's see what he slugged that year. 622. Cool. And he raised his 
career slugging average to 571. Sixth among active players and 14th all time. And that's why he might get into the hall one day. He's got that PED crap, but you know, he's not the only one. And some of them got in the hall, so maybe there's a chance for him. There's another impact Fleer. 20th anniversary Don Rush, 21, or 2001, excuse me. Another Leaf, another 01 Don Rush. Home run leaders, we already went through those. That one's got some rash on it, so it'll go in a burn box. Evolution, upper deck. Season highlights, what's it say? Uh, 4 7 01, he goes 3 for 5 with a pair of RBIs against his former club. So, yeah, they put the butt whooping on the ring or mirrors. And there's an upper deck that's got rash on it, so that one will go in the burn box. Here's a Fleer Baseball Authority. Another Hot Prospects upper deck. Fleer Platinum, 20th anniversary. Another, or excuse me, I haven't seen a Diamond King with him yet. 03 Diamond Kings, very nice. And let's just burn through some of these. 82 Throwback, nice card. That one, I believe, will clean up with some little bit of love. No pits in it, it's just moisture marks where they were stuck together at one time. We'll see if it'll clean up. If it won't, I'll throw it away. Not giving up on it quite yet, though. There's a vintage Rangers Uni there. And we've been, we've seen most of these. Uh, game time, Fleer, hits leaders. That one's trash. And the Fleer Triple Crown Pace Setters. Old one scrapbook. His first home run, full run, or excuse me, his first run with the Rangers. Yeah. And that one's okay. Oh, three Donruss Classics. Flair Brilliance. Got a bunch of those different players. One of my other favorite sets of all time, O2 Donruss. Love that card. That's pretty. Top's Gold Label. And Flair Traditions. What year is that? 98, 99. Uh, 98, 99. Yep. Can't really see the year on it. Yep, 99. Okay. Cool. So, I'll get those back in stack here. Where are we at time? Well, it's 12.45. That'll work. Not bad, not bad. There's a cool little leaf. Not too bad. I love that card. Cleanup Crew, 52 homers in 2001. That's a pretty card. I haven't seen that one yet. Didn't know I had it. There's an A-Rod Flair EX. That one's going to be pulled and put in my Flair EX box. I love these cards. Getting hard to find them. You can find them, but they're not easy to find anymore. Especially in top players, because so nobody wants to get rid of them. Uh, Tops Reserve, nice little HD card. That one's all rashed up. We'll throw it in the trash can. And let's see. Sets record for home run by a shortstop in 2001. I don't know if we said that one yet or not. Absolute memorabilia 02. Nice card. That's a nice card. Let me put these over here so I can stay in the camera zoom here. Flare Premium 02. We already went over that. That one's rashed up. We'll throw it right away. Almost perfect Ionics card. It's hard to find straight and narrow like that with good corners. Corners aren't perfect, but they're pretty close to it. It wouldn't grade very high. I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. It's got some condition issues on the corners, but not too bad. It'll probably grade pretty high still. Definitely not a 10 or a 9, though. Maybe an 8, 7, somewhere in there. And there's a Diamond King from both who. Another gallery. And what year is that? 98. It's not a 98 card. It's a 01 card. But whatever. A couple of ovations. Different ones. Yep. Love those. Another crappy card. I hate that card. And let's see. You want to try to find something we haven't seen yet. Another Ionix. Never get tired of that one. See the colors. Different layers of foil. Dancy, dancy. Nice. And premium, victory, tops, victory, true gamers. That's a nice little victory card. I like that. I haven't seen that one yet. There's a stadium club. 
from. Where year is it from? It doesn't say. Uh, O2. Okay. Right on, right on. I might try to buy some O2 Stadium Clubs and see if I can pull one of those mint and get it graded. That'd be cool. Uh, Rookies and Stars upper deck. I think we've seen all of these. Skybox Thunder. I got a bunch of those. I love that card. And let's see. Oh, there's a different ovation. Got the baseball thread seams there. You can see the back where they're sewn in or pressed into the card. That's a sexy card. I like that. Another 82 throwback. And another ESPN card. Got a lot of those. I think I had the whole set at one time, but I've sold them off in team lots that people wanted. I might try to find that set again one day. I don't know. There's a victory. Looks like a big newspaper. Upper deck MVP. Another uh, stadium ticket card. Look, stadium ticket looking card, anyway. Another evolution. Another ovation. Another hot prospects. And another brilliance. That's a different series, though. What year is that? That is a 99 Fleur, or, yeah, 99 Flare Brilliance. That'll, that might clean up. I'll try to clean it, maybe, if I get the time. Uh, absolute Baseball. Nice little border, raised border edge there. Different Ionics. Very nice. Uh, upper Deck Outstanding. I love these cards. Nice little layout. Nice color contrast. Nice everything to read is nice and laid out. Another raised border, Flare. And that one's junk. This one's probably junk too. This these stuck together really bad. Yep. And another tops reserve. Leaf certified. Uh what is this? Clear metal universe. I wonder what those were. I got a monster stack of those. Different teams, different players. A lot of those though, if you like them. SP Authentic. Very cool. Flair Platinum O2. Yeah, I think that's about it that we haven't seen yet. Little three Donruss. Nice little victory card here. I usually don't like these, but this one's pretty cool. I like purple and black. Uh, let's see here. I think we've seen the rest of them as far as design-wise. Fan Club 02 Donruss. Nice card. Well, I wouldn't say nice. It's decent. It's not the ugliest card ever made. That'd be 90 Donruss and 91 Fleer. Uh, O3 Donner's Classics. Nice. I think that's about it. We've seen everything, every design. There's Omega 2000 Pacific card. Nice card. And ooh, that's a cool one. Hot Prospects. Different style. That one's almost mint, man. That's a sweet card. And not quite mint. It's got a very small pit right there. Right there and right there. Two little spots. You can barely see them, but I can see them clearly with the eyeball you might be able to see if i zoom in see a little spot right there in front of my fingernail that's a little pit stain not the smelly kind not like an armpit or anything so don't, don't be grossed out just a pit uh, 2000 opening day okay and that's the a-rod collection i've got more but i haven't got them sorted yet and as i said in the last video these little teeny mate dudes if you got kids that collect these, or if you want to get every one ever made, these are all King of the Collections. There's the Angels, Pirates, Mariners, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I got that in a flea market box I found for a quarter. Kansas City Royals. Let's see how many we got here. We got three... Uh, let's see, Detroit. I'm going to guess that's Verlander, maybe. Oakland. Uh, Texas. I'm going to say that's A-Rod, even though it's, it looks like a pitcher. We'll call it A-Rod anyway. There's a Cubby. And a Padre. And another Padre. Different colors, but same thing. And another Pirate. So we got three, six, nine, twelve of those. If you got kids that drool over them, let me know. Get, get in touch with me on the website there. We'll get you set up. Like I said, a buck a piece. Some of them go for two or three bucks. I don't know what they go for. I'm not going to comp them. I don't have that kind of time. 
I got other stuff to do, so we'll roll them back up. Seal them up so all the air is out of the bag almost. That way they don't get damaged. But, yep. And I'll throw this NFL sticker pack. I've opened one of these before. They're not actually stickers. It was kind of a rip-off. I was hoping for stickers. This is what they are. Little paper. Flimsy paper crap. There's a Gronk in on Giovanni Bernard, Russell Wilson. It's got some good names if they were better quality. They're just really, really dumb. I just don't understand it. They're not, I don't know. They say they're sticker packs. I don't know if they're just modeled after the stickers that they made in these packs, but these are not stickers. Yeah. So if you want those, you know, let your kid get a glue stick and glue it to their folders or something. I'll throw those in with an order. As a little bonus so the kiddos can get something to play with and have fun with. Get them into cars, man. They're the future of the hobby. Once us old farts get out of it, we got to turn it over to somebody. But that's it for this video. Like I said, if you see something you want, get on the site there. Hit the contact us button. I'm the only one that sees it. So you ain't got to worry about your information being uh, misplaced in the wrong hands. All of it's highly secured. It's all digitally mastered and kept behind closed doors and locks and keys and stuff but i'm gonna end this one and i'll be back probably tomorrow i'm getting kind of tired i didn't sleep good last night i got back problems so we're gonna call this one good i'm gonna finish watching uh jab's family he's got a he bought like 25 of the walgreens five dollar boxes he's hunting for a trout so i'm gonna tune in with a glass of sweet tea and some cookies and see if he finds this trout card and then we've got a huge break tomorrow night. It's already sold out. But if you want to turn into the Jabs, cham Jabs family channel here at about 8 o'clock, we've got three different, or he's got three different uh, boxes being broke. I don't know if there's a case or not. I don't remember. I think it's just three hobby boxes. But I got the cubbies in the last one, so I'll be watching that for about three or four hours tomorrow night. Looking forward to that. That's always a good time. If you don't follow him, just search Jabs underscore family. And like him, subscribe to his stuff. He does a lot of good for the hobby. Gives a lot of kids cards all the time. And he just sells his stuff for what he's got invested in it. That way he can keep buying more stuff. And I'm doing the same thing. Like I said, you're probably getting tired of hearing me say, hey, contact me on the site if you're interested in any of these. But, uh, yeah, I'm a limited budget collector, like a lot of us in the world. And I buy cards. I flip cards. That way I can keep buying cards. And now I'm using the YouTube to help draw more uh, subscribers in and help support the site a little more. And we've got some nice giveaways planned. I've got a really nice digital uh, cam or webcam over there. I'm going to do all my recording from uh, either a cell phone like the one I'm using now, or I'm going to use, <clears throat> uh, let me get a digital SLR, SLR camera here pretty soon. I'm getting tired of using a phone. It's just a hassle. If you go back and see my first videos, you'll see my mount situation is pure redneck. Jeff Fox order would be proud of me. But I'm going to cut this one out right here, and we'll be back tomorrow. I got the one box coming in the mail. Hopefully it shows up. It should. It says it's on time. No later than tomorrow, so we're going to hope for tomorrow. And then Monday, I've got a huge box coming in from Texas that I bought off of Facebook from a buddy of mine. He's un unloading some collection so he can make room for some PC stuff, which I'm glad to help. If you've got stuff that you want to get rid of and I can make a little money on it, you can make a little money on it. You're probably getting tired of it, but here it goes again. Go to the website right here and click the contact me button and send me some information and send me some pictures of what you got. And I'll either say, yeah, that sounds good or... Yeah, but I'm going to need a minute, you know, so give me some more eyeballs on here. If you see this video, you know, comment, share, please. I'm not going to beg you. I'm just going to keep asking you. That's how we do it on YouTube. We want our subscribers. We want our likes and comments. But most importantly, we want to meet other people that love the hobby as much as we do. That's what it's all about, folks. But I'm going to go back to YouTubing or watching YouTube, rather. And I will see you all tomorrow with that box break. Tune in for that. Have a good night. Bye.